Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. This is the Bambox uh, Pop Culture, or original as some people, OG people, know it. Uh, and it's for November. Sorry. November. Yes, we just crossed into December. This is a November box. Uh, this I, I'm very sure, I'm almost 100% sure that this is the, the Pop Culture one. Uh, because this is the one that shipped first. As people who have watched my other videos know, I am much more of a fan of the horror one. But the the franchise, uh, uh, sorry, the franchises that they were going to have for this particular pop culture one, I do remember being excited about. So I was like, hmm, kind of interested in this one. When usually I'm more like, ah, eh, maybe fo fo mainly focusing on the horror one. So anyway, um, the horror box. I think I should have that unboxing up tomorrow because that one should be coming, I think it was only sent like the next day after this one, or maybe two days, so tomorrow or the next day, but very soon is the point, is the horror one. Um, but I think franchise-wise, I was more interested in this pop culture box, which is kind of a first. I don't know why they have it in a just like regular brown box. Um, maybe they ran out of their branded boxes, I don't know. They did just do like a fire sale recently, so, you know, maybe they want to use it for their fire, fire sale stuff. Who knows? I don't know. But um, the other thing I want to say, uh, a few quick things before I open this. One, uh, I'm going to be putting a link down in the description from now on for both my unboxing videos. So if you want to sign up for a BAM box and you're a new subscriber, go through that link. Uh, it'll help me out a little bit. If I get for every three people who get a box through that, I think I get a free box. So that would help me out greatly. Plus, it'll give you some dollars off of your first box, which is always helpful. Who doesn't like getting a deal? Everyone likes getting a deal. If you don't, not, you know, no big sweat, but um, at the least, I hope you enjoy my unboxing videos. That's what I hope most. I'm not making money on this, just doing it for fun. So, but if you guys could help me out, if you are going to subscribe, you might as well. I'll also just hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel because that helps out. Give me likes, all that good jazz. And the other thing is, if you remember on the last two boxes, we had an issue with shipping. Well, I mean, Bambox had an issue with shipping because they went with DHL. Um, and things were not figured out too well with DHL. Um, a lot of people were really pissed online. And I was kind of like, well, you know, whatever. You can go back and see my unboxing on that for my true, my full feelings on that situation. But look, they fixed it. This came really fast. My horror box is on the way. It's coming fast, too. And, you know... That's, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing about Bambox is that give them a little bit of time, they'll set things straight. For this, they said they were not going with DHL. They're going to put that on hold. They might still go back to DHL, but they need to get things figured out. So to get things back on track, they went back to the old way, which I believe is FedEx. So things are good for now. But they're going to get it figured out. So that's what I'm saying, people. Like, give them a little bit of time. Don't just get, like, crazy pissed off online and be like, I'm boycotting this company because they messed something up once. They make it right. I keep, I'm having a hard time opening this. Oh, okay. This is opening. Oh, I see. I screwed up. <laughs> because there's also some tape down here. Guess if I looked at it a little bit better. Well, the other thing is it's kind of... Since this isn't their typical box... Okay, the other side's fine. Since this isn't their typical box, it doesn't really indicate which way is which. I know, it seems like I'm dumb, but whatever. Alright, here we go. Tissue paper for the cat, who has actually been walking around and crying. Another piece of tissue paper for this crying cat. <laughs> we'll get her taken care of. There's something... Oh, okay. Well, they have something on here explaining where the black BAM box is. Where is the black BAM box? We are in the process of updating and refreshing the look of BAM not only on our website and social profiles, but also boxes and inserts. We have some really fun things in store for 2019. Please follow along on the community page to keep up. Mm, yeah, if people want to like read the full thing, there you go. Sorry, I'm sure that pink is like super loud on the screen. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, I think a one up. Yeah, I think they. I think I remember seeing them saying that they were putting a lot of one ups in for the month of November, so they're saying a lot of people end up with one-ups, which, all for it, that's awesome. So there we go. All right, first in here. I don't 
feel anything that would indicate it's a prop there's a prop replica in here for me unless it's something like flat which if there's no prop replica you people know me i'm totally fine with that i do not care about prop rep replicas i'm here for the art prints and i'm here for the pins so let's do the pin first here we go this is by tom ryan studios and this is the one property that I wasn't like huge on just because oh, I'm sure it was a huge crowd pleaser though. I mean, don't get me wrong. It was not a mistake for them to do this property. It's very, very popular. I'm not a, a Simpsons fan actually. And the main reason for that is when I was a kid, my parents were like very, very controlling about what I could and couldn't watch. And they were like, Simpsons is too inappropriate. So I kind of missed the opportunity, the, the best opportunity for me to get into the show. And then I just never went to it. So I don't really, I've maybe seen a little bit of the Simpsons here and there. I know the characters, obviously. And there is the pin. It's the Devil of Springfield. Chloe, can you calm down, pal? People don't want to hear you cry. It's the Devil of Spring, Springfield. And there you can hear her crying because that's what she does. And it, it, this is cool because it's a mashup of Bart Simpson and Daredevil. I like that a lot. Um, see, so that's cool because I don't really care for The Simpsons, but I do like Daredevil. So here we go. Daredevil. So that's cool. I'm going gonna, gonna to remove this for a second and see if there's a number on it because maybe this is the one-up item. Oh, I think I do see a number. I don't want to remove both of these, but I get rid of these things anyway. Oh, no, there isn't. So this is not the one up. So it's going to be like the art print or something. All good. I like the pen. Well designed too. That's always nice. All right. Next thing is. What in the heck? What is this? Oh. Okay. I think I know what this is. Okay. So this was a franchise in the box that I was like, don't really care. Um. I mean, it was a movie that came out in theaters, so it's not like it's super unknown or anything. I had known about the movie coming out. I just never saw it. It was a movie, Chappie, about like the, some robot who catches feelings, I think, something to that effect. Uh, so there's a certificate of authenticity on here. And it's a screen used, actually. That's actually a cool prop. And it's apparently a business prop, is what it says. So I guess there, there's like this report form for the robot and it has all the stuff on there. Sorry, I have to kind of like, I have to tilt it forward so I don't get the crazy glare from my ring light. Sorry. So there we go. I mean, that's cool. If it's actually like a, a screen used prop and as you can see, there's like the certificate of authenticity, which is always nice to have. That's cool. I like that. I mean, I don't like it from the standpoint of like, oh, I'm a fan of this, but I think it was a smart idea to do this. Like, it's a cool item to put in, is what I mean. So, I don't really care about it that much, but, you know, someone probably does. All right. No, thank you. This is something we had. We had something very similar recently to this. I mean, it is kind of cool, but at the same time, it's not. Um, so, it's a milk carton which you can fold up and actually like turn into a carton they had one of this one of these in it was in the horror box for the lost boys i believe it's a franchise so this, for this one's for stranger things and it's got will byers on there from stranger things oh he went missing he's on the milk carton so that's not actually something that happened in the show so um they just kind of like created this themselves i guess for people who don't get both boxes this is fine because it's in the pop culture box now for people who get both boxes like me you're gonna see it and be like mm, you already did this which you know you're gonna repeat some stuff but if you're gonna repeat things i don't really want you repeating these things you know what i mean like this is like a one and done in my opinion like it's a cool idea for for doing one time i don't want repeats of it sorry just my opinion let me know how you people feel comment down there all right the next item second to last item this is probably the art print. Uh, yes, our piece of art by Brian Allen called Fire and Ice. Okay, I was expecting that this franchise would end up being the one that got the um, the piece of art, and that's what I was hoping for because I thought it could be really cool. And this is pretty cool. I like it. 
Uh, Game of Thrones, man. And for people who are Game of Thrones fans, you know what I'm talking about. You got the Ice King and the Fire Queen, basically, in a sense. Daenerys and the Ice King. Or the the Nightwalker King. Um, yeah, and you get the dragons. People will know what that means if they watch the show. And let me tell you, for the longest time, I had done a bunch of the books. I'm sorry, my cat's moving around in the blinds. Um, she's just all about making noise this time around. So, um, I, for the longest time, didn't want to continue with the show. Like, I got to a certain point, and I was like, I'm going to stop because it's past where the books are, and I was going through the books. I'm like, I'm just going to wait for the book. And then I said, screw that, <laughs> and I just started watching the show again after waiting for a while because it's become apparent that George R. R. Martin is not going to finish those books. I mean... He can feel free to do what he wants. I think he's just more into doing screenwriting and stuff like that. So do what you want, George R. R. whatever. So I, I went back to the show, and I highly recommend it. It's a great show. So, And this is a cool piece of artwork. So thank you, Brian Allen, for doing some cool artwork. I like it. So what would the autograph be then? I guess it must, must have not been listed as a franchise. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, so this is this isn't anything that I really care about. Um, so hit or miss with me and the and the autographs. It's another like animated one where someone did the voice. These are probably the easier people to get a hold of because they're not all that known, you know. And especially no one typically knows their face. So these are cool if it ends up lining up with a cartoon that you're a fan of. Which I don't even know what this would be. This would be a like Goof Troop or something maybe which I didn't watch, but the guy who signed it is Jim Cummings. So, it doesn't even say what it's from on here, honestly. It just said he's done a lot of voices, which I, I'm assuming there's a variety of, of um, prints you could have gotten with his signature on it. So that's it in the box. Uh, let me go over this stuff. So it, oh, he did, yeah, he did do a lot of stuff. Um, the autograph, Jim Cummings, he did voices for Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, Pete, that's not very specific, Darkwing Duck, Thanos, I guess in uh, a Marvel cartoon, Cat, the Cat of Cat Dog, and many more. So that guy, pretty talented. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, you can see like there's a Darkwing Duck, there's the Marvel one, sorry, Darkwing Duck, Marvel one. I assume that's Goof Trip, I don't know. Um, Winnie the Pooh and Cat Dog. I think of these pictures, the Darkwing Duck and the Cat Dog look the coolest. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, I'm not excited about it, but it's probably cool for some people because cartoons are a real big part of some people's um, upbringings and they were like really well attached to them. So like for me, if I got someone who voiced like one of the Thundercats and that was the autograph, I'd be like, oh, that's pretty awesome because I loved the Thundercats growing up. Or like Transformers or something like that. So, I dig it. Uh, then we had the milk carton. If you want to see what it looks like if it was all done up. That's the milk carton. Whatever. You have the chappy thing. Uh, so the reports were used in the filming of the movie. They're from King Screen Used Business Prop Set. Okay. So it's a company that kind of collects props used. And then we'll resell them. Good. Uh, so then there's the pins, which limited edition. There's a bullseye millhouse and a kingpin um, homer. I I blanked. I'm sorry. Out of 259 out of 500, those are cool. I like I like that mashup. I like that it's like a Marvel mashup with the Simpsons. They look really good, and it's cool because it's two things in one. I like those pins. Those pins are cool. Uh, and then there's the, wait a minute, which print did I get? Did I get the upgrade on my print? No. So, oh, so I got a one-up, but I didn't get an actual one-up item. Okay. Okay, so I didn't, so I got a one-up card, but I didn't actually get a one-up. I'm going to have to contact them about this. Um, they're usually good about it. I've had that problem some time ago, and they took care of it pretty fast. Um, so I assume what was supposed to happen is 
I was not supposed to get the white border one. I was supposed to get the black border one, which is out of 500. I mean, they look the same, but actually, I mean, I think the black border one does look better because it's kind of like a, it looks like one of those black velvet posters that people had back in the day. Yeah, because this is number 136 out of 2,000. So, so I did not get an actual one-up, even though I got a one-up. So we'll get that taken care of. Uh, and then they were having a giveaway. Oh, a Chris Sarandon signed Santa Jack reaction figure from Nightmare Before Christmas. That's cool. First of all, night. Okay, two things about this. One, Nightmare Before Christmas is really good. Two. Chris Sarandon is awesome, especially in Fright Night. Fright Night's probably my favorite movie that Chris Sarandon's ever been in. So, and that, not a remake, people understand. Original Fright Night from the 80s. It's awesome. So, uh, overall, what do I think of this box? For me personally, obviously my, my favorite thing is the pin. The pin is really cool. I, I mean, that warrants being looked at again. That's a cool pin. I love the idea of what they did with, with their set of pins. That's awesome. And it's quality, as usual. It's great. Uh, the rest of the box for me, I mean, it's a good box, though. I mean, when I say for me, I don't really care for the box. That's just because of kind of the franchises and stuff like that. Like, I like the art print. I like the pin. And usually for me, that's fine. Like, I'm good. So I wouldn't look at that and say, oh, man, I wasted my money on this one this month. No, because I got the art print and I got the pin, and that's what I usually look for. So I'm good. It's just for me, it's not like a mind blowing or like super awesome uh, box, just because the other franchises I'm not all that into, you know. And well, I mean, I do like Stranger Things, but I think the item for Stranger Things was wah, wah. Um, but the you know the other stuff was fine. It's just you know not my thing. Anyway, um, people, I'm really excited for the horror one that's coming next month. I'll probably talk about that just a little bit more on my horror unboxing. Uh, there's like one franchise that I am very excited for for the November horror box. Um, it's one of my more favorite uh, horror movies. Uh, and then one of my even more favorite horror movies is for the December one. But I'll tease that a little bit. I'm not going to tell you specifically what it is, but you know. Anyway, if you can give me a little bit of help hit that subscribe button up there. If you want to know every time I post a video, you can hit the notification bell. I haven't been posting as many videos as I want to recently. Uh, I kind of try and do like one a week, and I think I missed last week because things are busy. You know, it's it's the holidays, and I, I hate the holidays because of that. I do. I really do. I like uh, Halloween because nobody expects you to do anything. You just do whatever you want. There are zero obligations, zero expectations. Do whatever you want. So anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.